I love this question. This was one of the questions that made me excited to do this interview because I wish I had this. So the biggest thing that I think young composers and musicians of color should keep in mind right now is play your game. Don't play anyone else's game because they don't know what they're doing, really. Or or they don't know what you should do, I should say. For example, if, say, you're a musician, you're a composer, and going through academia is like they will try to encourage you to write in a specific style or a certain way or they'll tell you that you need to, like, focus on X, Y, Z, and they'll keep you so, so busy. They'll make academia seem like the world, and it's not. It's not the world. And it's like as soon as, like, you leave the academic space, is like none of that work you were doing matters. I, I really am thankful for like my OGs for this because they like, I don't know, I just it's always been inherent in me. And like when I was in undergrad, I was still doing, I was doing way more like outside of school because I understood this. This is not to say that your professors aren't brilliant and don't make great music or anything. It's just the world that existed when they were coming up doesn't exist anymore. Like, that's not the world that you're coming up in. Uh, I love my professors. Like, flat out, they changed my life. This is this is not to disparage academia at all. It's just, it's an old model, and it takes a long time to adjust. So I guess my advice is, like, don't let them get in your head and do a lot of research on what you would like to do. Write what you would like to write and just produce a lot. However much you're writing, write three times as much because it compounds over time. 